Power line adapters come with some of the benefits of a wide ethernet connection, but without the hassle of having to run additional cabling. Instead, they simply plug into a mains outlet. Now as the mains electricity supply is involved here, it does beg the question as to whether all the power line adapters need to be on the same electrical circuit. In today's video, we'll briefly discuss the different types of electrical circuits and find out whether power line adapters will indeed function across different circuits. Hey everyone, it's Chris back again from homenetworkgeek.com where we cover everything home networking. If you enjoy the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight in with what an electrical circuit even is. If you're like me and aren't too familiar with how electricity or electrical circuits work, it doesn't hurt to know the basics. You may even find this knowledge comes in handy when you come to build your own home network. An electrical circuit is simply a path in which electrons from a voltage or current source follow. The point at which the electrons enter can be considered to be the start of the circuit, also known as the source. Where the electrons leave the circuit is known as the earth ground or return. It's referred to this as the electrons always end up back at the source of the circuit. The part of an electrical circuit between the source and the return is known as the load. In our case, when the power line adapter becomes part of the electrical circuit, this is what's considered the load. Electrical circuits can use two different forms of electrical power. These are alternating current and direct current. AC typically powers larger appliances and motors with the source of the power coming from the large power stations. DC powers battery operated devices and other electronics like smartphones and flashlights. Converters can be used to convert AC to DC and vice versa whenever it's needed. Within your average home, three different types of electrical circuits can usually be found. These are ring circuits, radial circuits, and lighting circuits. Ring circuits are the most common method used of installing electrical outlets in a home, with each floor of the home usually being on its own ring circuit. The sockets are arranged to form a continuous loop, with the circuit beginning and ending back at the consumer unit. Power can be delivered to the outlets in either a direction around the loop, which helps reduce the overall load on the cable. Ring circuits are now considered to be the standard way of installing electrical outlets, but some homes may still use the more traditional radial circuits. These are different from ring circuits, as the cable that travels through each outlet doesn't end up back at the consumer unit. Instead, it terminates at the last power outlet in the entire circuit. Power is forced to travel in just the one direction in a radial circuit, and therefore can only serve a smaller area, otherwise the load on the cable would be too great. Now given their name, these circuits only serve the purpose of providing lighting. Although it isn't really relevant to power line adapters directly, it still doesn't hurt to know a bit about them. Lighting circuits are essentially radial circuits that can take two forms, with a combination of both of them often being used. The first form is known as a loop-in, which has a cable running from the consumer unit out to multiple ceiling roses. They also link directly to the lighting pendant and its switch. The other junction box method isn't commonly used these days and is quite old fashioned. Junction boxes are positioned in a suitable location along the main cable to provide power to the lighting pendant, but they have a separate connection to each light switch. This method is often used even these days when you come to add additional lighting to an existing circuit. As we now know, all ring circuits start and end at the consumer unit. This leads us to the question as to whether power line adapters will still work across different circuits despite them all ending up back at the consumer unit. Let's assume that your home uses ring circuits and you have one power line adapter connected to the ring circuit downstairs and another adapter connected to the separate ring circuit upstairs. Provide the electrical wiring between both circuits is in good condition you should see communication between both power line adapters, despite them being on different circuits. It has been known that consumer units using RCD or having power liners plugged into certain extension cords that use filtering can cause some issues. And this is what I believe leads to the assumption that power line adapters plugged into different circuits won't work. So yes, power line adapters should work across different ring circuits, but ultimately there are so many factors involved when it comes to the electrical wiring found within your home. One caveat being that a lot of people have experienced reduced performance when their power line adapters are plugged into different circuits. So my advice would be to, wherever possible, keep them on the same circuit. So it was challenging to find a definitive answer as to whether power line adapters will work across different circuits. But the conclusion that I've come to based on the research that I've done is that yes, they should still function. They certainly won't perform as well as if they were connected to the same circuit, 
but realistically, with most homes using multiple circuits, this isn't really practical. The majority of people that plug their power line adapters into different circuits have found them to work. My guess is that those that claim that they don't work actually have a fault that lies elsewhere, like I mentioned with the extension cords earlier, but they assume that the power line adapters being on different circuits is the actual cause of the problem. Given how many variables are involved when it comes to electrical wiring, it is understandable to see why they may think this. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and you found it helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to turn on notifications. Also, don't forget to visit homenetworkgeek.com where I have hundreds of articles that cover everything home networking. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.